Their petition basically said, well, Australia is a secular society and an increasing number of people indicate that they uh, follow no particular religion and the number of people identifying as Christians has been on decline uh, continually in the last census back in 2016, so five years ago, 52% of people indicated that they were Christian. And uh, as we all know, there were many other religions that are growing very fast, mainly because of uh, migration into our nation, uh, growth in uh, Islamic, uh, Hindu, uh, Buddhism, and other religions. And so the petition was essentially saying, it's out of date and out of touch that you would start the meeting with prayer. Now you're pleased to know we rejected that petition uh, and the prayer continues. <laughs> but one of the key reasons put forward is the importance of tradition. Something that's been going on since 1960. But for me personally, it's so much more than that. Tradition is important. And so many of our traditions in society have been eroded. But when it comes to the question of prayer, it is right for us to ask, is prayer still relevant? It's right for us occasionally to ask ourselves that question, is faith still relevant? Because society is changing. But to see this room today full of people, the biggest ever, Anyone would think that there's some kind of crisis or pandemic going in our society. <laughs> Anyone would think that there's a time where people are forced to look inwards and to think about the deeper meaning of things. And that tends to happen in a time of crisis. We've seen time and time again when something tragic happens around the world, people automatically say, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for Paris, or I'm praying for London, or I'm praying for the place that is going through a disaster or trauma. I'm praying for India. And people of all faiths, and even those of no religion, will say that. Why? Because there is something deeper. There is something important. Now, I mentioned the pandemic. We have been so fortunate here with the impact of the pandemic, so blessed. At the latest count, 171 million people across the world have contracted COVID and there have been 3.5 million deaths. And so this is a monumental pandemic. And as I said, we have been so fortunate here, we are so blessed. But it's been interesting to see the way that the community has accepted change that we would never accept at any other time because in a time of crisis we have come together habits that we've built up over decades have suddenly been cast aside and changed because of coronavirus 